Today on Boat on Course, you'll learn all about trailering, launching, and boater etiquette. You're planning for a beautiful day on the water. If you're a trailer boater, you'll want to keep it beautiful by keeping it safe. The ability to tow your boat allows you to explore many waterways. Before towing your boat, be sure to brush up on your trailering, launching, and boater etiquette with the following tips and tricks. Here at Boat on Course, we prepared a checklist to make sure your trailer is ready for the trip. Double check the towing capacity of your vehicle. Never tow a boat that exceeds the towing capacity. Make sure everyone keeps their life jacket on when near the water. Connect and check the trailer lights. Make sure they are plugged in. Trailer lights can be finicky. Check to make sure that all lights are working. Brake lights, running lights, and turn signals. Check that the hitch safety pin is in place and the latch is firmly centered. Cross the two safety chains underneath the hitch and hook them into place. That way, if something goes wrong, the chain can support the tongue and keep it from digging into the asphalt. Don't forget to raise and secure the tongue jack before towing. Check that the winch strap and safety chain are secure and that all tie-down straps are tightened. Hop aboard your boat and make sure there are no loose items that could fly out. You'll want to secure heavy gear over the axles and in a storage box or compartment. Your boat motor should be trimmed and you may have straps to secure the stern to the trailer. Your trailer should be level. Finally, check your mirrors. You don't want any blind spots. If you can't see the boat from the driver's seat, you may need to install larger mirrors on your tow vehicle. Safety should always be your number one priority when trailering a boat. It will take much longer to stop, so increase the following distance between you and the next vehicle. Make wider turns and use your side mirrors to check the clearance of the trailer. Also, remember to always change lanes with caution. Upon arrival at the launch ramp, prep your boat before getting into the launch line so you don't clog up the ramp. Remove all tie downs and ropes, but not the winch strap or safety chain or the boat could slide off the trailer prematurely. Let's walk around the boat and do a checklist so you're ready to launch. Start at the bow of the boat. Now we mentioned before that you don't want to unhook your winch strap, but you do want to loosen it. Once you've lowered the trailer onto the ramp, the angle puts pressure onto the winch and it can be very tight and difficult to loosen. So put just a little slack in the line, but keep the boat hooked to the trailer. Walk around to the back of your boat and unhook your transom straps and check the plug. The plug is likely in place, but it's always good to double check. Let's jump in the boat and make sure that either the battery switch is on or your connections are in place, whichever setup you have. Turn the key to the on position. And if your blowers aren't automatic, go ahead and turn them on. You're going to want to run the blowers for at least four minutes. Now's the time to transfer your gear from your vehicle into the boat. You've likely brought coolers and towels and maybe fishing rods and extra life jackets for your passenger. If you have passengers boating with you, this is a good time to remind them that launch areas are busy and potentially hazardous areas. After they made that final bathroom and marina store run, have them wait safely on the dock for you. Now you're ready to launch your boat. We recommend you physically check the ramp for marine growth that can be extremely slippery and for the angle and length of the ramp into the water before backing the boat onto the ramp. All ramps are different. You may have a lot of room at the ramp, then launch in a narrow area at the next ramp. Remember to be courteous to other boaters and not take up the whole ramp if there are multiple lanes. Either way, try to pull as far forward with your boat as possible so that you are back in the trailer in a straight line. This will minimize the corrections you will have to make when reversing the trailer. Be aware of what's going on around you. Is the ramp a single or double lane? It's a good idea to keep your vehicle windows down and stereo off so that you can hear vehicles and people around you. If you have passengers, assign someone to watch the ramp behind you and alert you immediately if a person attempts to cross or a boat enters the ramp area from the water side. The ideal way to launch is to have two people, one in the boat and one backing the trailer. For the purposes of this training, we will assume that you are launching by yourself. Tie a rope to the bow cleat of the boat so you can secure it at the dock before it's off the trailer. Give yourself plenty of line. Again, back the trailer down the ramp and back into the water in as straight a line as possible. A trick that will help with steering is to keep your hand on the bottom of your steering wheel, not the top. Back the trailer until the trailer tires are in the water, but keep your rear vehicle tires on the dry ramp. You want the stern of the boat in the water, but don't back all the way down yet. Hook the rope that you have tied to your bow cleat to a cleat on the dock. Release the wind strap and safety chain. Now that your boat is secured to the dock, you can back the trailer down a bit further and release the boat from the trailer. Walk down the dock, grab the line, and pull the boat close to the dock. Secure the rope around the cleat, and now you can clear the ramp area for the next boater. 
You're ready now to go park your tow vehicle and trailer. If you're boating alone, remember to take your boat key with you to prevent potential boat theft. When returning to the dock, remember that slow is pro. Pulse the throttle into reverse, then back to neutral to slow the momentum of the boat as you're docking. Once back at the dock, secure your lines to the cleats. Take the boat keys with you as you go retrieve your tow vehicle. Remember to scan the ramp area before backing your vehicle. Again, you want as straight a line as possible to avoid overcorrection. Every trailer is different, but you want to back the trailer in enough so that you can drive the boat onto the submerged section. Slowly ease the boat onto the trailer. At this point, you may have to give it a little power to put your boat securely on the trailer, or you may be able to use the winch strap to pull the boat up, depending on the size of your boat. At this point, be sure to trim the motor before attaching the winch strap and cable. With the angle of the ramp, your propeller could scrape the ramp if it's not trimmed high enough, so check that angle. Once the boat is over the trailer, hop down and use the winch to pull the boat securely to the top of the trailer. The boat ramp can be a stressful place to be on a busy day. Remember these tips to make launching your boat as efficient as possible. Remember to practice. The more times you trailer and launch your boat, the more confident you become with the process.